face to face a couple of silver spoons hoping to find we're two of a kind make it a go make it grow together Son, what are you doing in bed? I usually have to ask you ten times before you go to sleep. Yeah, well, well I'm really bushed. Wiped out. Sandman City. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Want me to tuck you in? No, no. No, I'm too old for that, Dad. I'm into self-tucking. <laughs> That's no fair. I've only had a son for two months, and already he's a self-tucker. <laughs> well, sweet dreams, son. Bye, Dad. Good night. What's this? It's a drawing of Big Toes. Mr. Bradshaw saw him in the cemetery last night. He told me and Derek what he looked like. Rick, don't you find it a little hard to believe that a primitive half-man, half-beast would be hanging around our neighborhood? <laughs> but, Dad, Mr. Bradshaw actually saw it. He said it was 14 feet tall, it was covered with hair, and had big fangs. Uh-oh, my first blind date is back in town. <laughs> Dad, Mr. Bradshaw saw it with his own eyes. Well, Rick, consider the source. Mr. Bradshaw isn't known as Weird Willie for nothing, you know. Last year, he dressed himself up in colored lights and told everybody he was a Christmas tree. Dad, Mr. Bradshaw is not the only person who's seen him. Other people have, too. And just wait. Someday, somebody's going to get a picture of Big Toes, and then people are going to have to believe in him. Well, maybe so. But maybe it's one of those unsolvable mysteries like the Loch Ness Monster or the disappearance of Amelia Earhart, or why all waitresses call you honey. <laughs> Good night, son. Night, Dad. Not to you, but from this side of the headstone is hilarious. <laughs> Come on, we're here on a mission. We're supposed to be looking for big toes. Hey, while we're waiting, let's switch some of these headstones around. That way, when people come here, they'll be mourning the wrong dead guy. <laughs> Derek, you're too young to be this sick. <laughs> Look at this. Here lies Herbert Watkins. He never skipped dessert. One day he had a heart attack, and now he's eating dirt. <laughs> hey, check this one out. Of all the dynamite factory workers, the best was Bill Simplosion. Until the day he lit a cigarette and got run over by a truck. <laughs> Mr. 
Hey, Rick, look at this! Footprints! Wow! Gee, I never saw a footprint like that. Neither have I. This us make Dr. Shaw wake up screaming. <laughs> Derek Big Toe made these tracks. Big Toe's was here, and there's a good chance he'll come back. Sit down and wait for him. Something. This place is giving me the creeps. You're not scared, are you, Derek? Scared? Moi? <laughs> no way. Good, because because being out here reminds me of an old movie I saw it's called Curse of the Avenging Corpse. It was about this guy who knew he was going to die, but he swore he'd come back from the grave. And then one night, the murderer came to the cemetery to gloat. And while he was standing over the grave, the ground opened up. And the gross, decomposed hand reached up and grabbed Cold and hungry. I think he likes me. Wonder why he's out here in the cemetery all by himself. Hey, he could have escaped from a zoo or, or a circus. What's your name, fella? What's your name? Expect him to answer that? Who's the monkey here? <laughs> all right, but well, then we'll pick a name. Uh, how about Fred? <laughs> no, he doesn't like that. Well, um, how about Bob? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is a little boring. Um, Bruce. <laughs> I know. Harry! <laughs> well, then Harry it is. Well, it sure does fit. <laughs> Harry, you want to come home with me? Go home with you. Why should he go home with you? We both saw him at the same time, right? Yeah, but Harry likes me. Oh, yeah, but Harry likes me, too. Don't you, Harry? <laughs> oh, what does that flea bag know, anyway? Look, Rick, it's important that I take Harry home with me tonight. What do you mean, important? I got this plan, see? I'm gonna put Harry in a nightgown and slip him into my father's bed. I'm curious to see if my old man notices anything different. <laughs> Get it, Derek. Harry needs love, food, warmth. Right, Harry? <laughs> All he really needs is a good orthodontist. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. So long, monkey. You too, Harry. <laughs> Harry, do you want to go home with me? <laughs> Let's go.
little bed right here on the floor next to me, okay? A couple of pillows, a nice blanket. There we go. Nice and comfy. Not bad if I say so myself. Hop in, Harry. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Harry. <sighs> Good night, Harry. great time here. I think you'll like my dad, and I sure hope he likes you. Grab a seat. What do you want to do now? Play a game or something? Did you play catch? <laughs> do you roller skate? <laughs> oh, what's the matter, guy? Cheat a bad banana? <laughs> Miss your family, huh? I know how that feels. I never really had a family until I came to live with my dad. But you can be part of my family, okay? So come on, let's see that famous Harry smile. <laughs> let's play some cowboys and Indians. Come over there. Put your hands up. <laughs> Took a pets. I only had a gerbil and a hamster, and they both died. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry. They died of old age. Ricky, can I come in? Uh, just a second, Kate. I'm, uh, I'm wrapping your birthday present. <laughs> look, look, we gotta hide. <laughs> Ricky, it was my birthday last month. You bought me some flowers, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was nice of me. <laughs> Ricky, you've uh, been in your room all morning. What's going on? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, kid. I, I really should get out of my room. Come on, let's go. Who's in the bathroom? Oh, nobody's. See, the John keeps flushing by itself. That's terrible, Kate. It kept me up all night. I read about it. It's called spontaneous flushing. <laughs> I never heard of such a thing. Neither have I. It's new. <laughs> Someone's in the bathroom. Who? It's a surprise. I'll, I'll be right down and tell you all about it, okay? Oh. Sounds mysterious. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Spontaneous gargling? <laughs> Harry! Harry! Harry, now you behave, okay? You gotta behave yourself and you stay in this room, okay? <laughs> By the way, uh, you can keep the toothbrush. <laughs> Me got some exciting bathroom news. Yeah, well, the thing is, is, is that I read this very interesting article in my school newspaper. It said that having a pet is very healthy for a person. It lowers your blood pressure, helps prevent stress and loneliness. 
And they also found that a lot of psychotic killers did not have a pet when they were my age. <laughs> I'm gonna take a wild stab here, Rick. Do you want a pet? <laughs> oh, could I please? Well, <laughs> sure, son. What do you want, a dog, a cat, a goldfish? <laughs> Don't be scared, guys. He won't hurt you. Harry, I want you to meet my dad. Pleased to meet you, Harry. <laughs> and this is a secretary, Kate Summers. <laughs> nice to have met you. Uh, where did you get him from? Me and Derek found him in the cemetery. He's big to us. You and Derek were in a cemetery last night? I thought you were asleep. But, Dad... Ricky, you know better than that. It's dangerous to go out alone at night. <laughs> Danger's nice. I bet he escaped from the, uh, Z-O-O. -O. I'll make a call. You, he was scared, lonely, hungry. He doesn't have anybody else. Well, Ricky, Harry's... Uh, <clears throat> would you excuse us for a moment, Harry? <laughs> Ricky, I only had one semester of zoology, but I'm pretty positive that orangutans aren't native to Long Island. <laughs> Son, he must belong to somebody. I sure wish I could keep him. Well, Ricky's a wild animal. There's nothing for an orangutan to do around this house. <laughs> Of course, he could adapt. The zoo's not missing any orangutans. Then can I keep him? Uh, now, Ricky, maybe he belongs to somebody who loves him just as much as you do. We're gonna have to put some ads in the paper and see if anybody claims him. If nobody claims him, then can I keep him? Well... Wouldn't you like to live here with us, Harry? <laughs> well, okay. In, in, that, in that case, if nobody responds, he can stay. <laughs> I'm high with the pair of races. I'll bet four. <laughs> I'll see you. Yeah, I'm in. Harry's in. I've got three aces. Oh, that beats me. Well, that doesn't beat a full house. <laughs> Wait a minute, what do you got here? <laughs> I'm sure you won. Want to play another hand, Harry? <laughs> Come on, Harry, you got to give us a chance to win our cookies back. <laughs> Okay, for you. I've been letting you in for three weeks now. <laughs> From now on, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Where's he going? about this puppy hey puppy yeah that's that's my puppy puppy 
Do you know this orangutan? Of course, that's my puppy. We do an act together. My name is Robert Geraldo of Geraldo and Puppy. <laughs> okay, Puppy and Geraldo. <laughs> Mister, are you sure this is your orangutan? Well, of course, we do a magic act. Uh, observe. Hey, I will take this orange here, and I'm gonna throw it up in the air, and it's gonna end up right here on this monkey's face. One, two, and that's close <laughs> enough. And now for the magic. And... <laughs> And nobody knows where the orange. <laughs> and no. <laughs> Ta da da! Oh, oh. oh, Mr. Geraldo, that's terrific. But how did, how did you lose Poppy? Well, my truck was stolen, and when they found it, Poppy was gone. Oh, you must have been worried sick. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. See, Poppy is like my own son. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> well, we're glad to see you reunited. Aren't we, Rick? Yeah. Mr. Geraldo, Ricky found Poppy, and he's taking real good care of him. Well, thank you. I can see that. I really appreciate it. Don't worry. Uh, Harry, uh, Poppy w wasn't any trouble at all. Why don't we sit down, and I'll get us something to eat? No, thank you very much, but we really must be going. Oh. Before you leave, could I say goodbye to Poppy? Well, of course. Papi, go and say, go and say goodbye to your friend. Go on. Well, I guess you gotta leave now, huh? Sure, I'm glad you found your family. And Mr. Geraldo seems like a seems like a real nice guy. I sure I'm glad glad to know that you're in good hands. Boy. We had some laughs, didn't we? I must tell you, you can always come back here. My window is always open. I'm gonna miss you. I, I love you, Harry. should have this. My dad gave it to me the first time we met. And I want you to have it. <laughs> Goodbye, Harry. Oh, how gallant. <laughs> Goodbye, Harry. Hoping to find we're two of a kind, make it a goal. 